Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. It's been a while since I've made my last one so I thought I'd stick up another video of just a few of the items that I've managed to sell over the past week or so. And um, business at the moment in terms of sales for me is very sporadic, it's very inconsistent. Um, as Joe, um, Joe Chris Pine and, and Nick and etc have all mentioned, you've got to keep on top of this, you've got to keep listing. I've noticed every time I'm listing regularly my sales become more regular they become um, you know they, they increase and as soon as I stop listing even if I let, let, don't list f for a day or two it affects things massively so my aim now really is to list every day at least something just to keep things ticking over just to keep things alive in the hope that it will just maintain or, or like in obviously increase the amount of sales I'm getting but anyway here's a few sales that I've managed to get within the last week um also week and a bit probably um, um first thing i'm gonna go through are some a6 duo max gt2150 running shoes um picked these up as part of my auction job lot so they just came in the bag of shoes and trainers um they're in good condition used but good condition plenty of life on the tread um as you can see there um and I sold them pretty quickly for twenty nine ninety nine. I could have probably asked a little bit more and waited a bit longer, but to keep cash flow going, I thought you know stick them up at thirty, and they sold pretty quickly. Same story here. These are some nice Nike Tiempo um, Genio leather football trainers. These are AstroTurf ones. Again, used, got a bit of wear to them, but still plenty of life. And if you actually look at the the tread again at the bottom, they're in fantastic condition. And those went for twenty pounds pretty quickly as well. Here's something I picked up at a boot fair just over the um, last weekend, and this is a GameCube power supply so sometimes I like to just quickly sift through boxes of, of wires and power supplies that you find at boot fairs because people tend to sell them pretty cheaply 50p in a pound uh, I think this was about a pound and um, the guy didn't even know what it was I think I think he thought it was like a laptop power supply because it was just in a bunch of other stuff and I uh, picked that up for a pound and flipped it for 11.50 um, all of my prices by the way don't include um, you know all my prices include free delivery so I have to take off like two pound 34 um, on top of all the regular eBay PayPal fees here's another item I picked up at the weekend at the boot fair I probably undervalued these massively because looking at them now they actually look really nice um, these were some UK size 11 night dunks and I've got that really cool little check thing going on at the back a nice cream and beige finish it's just they were a little bit dirty um, you know a little bit grubby um, but still good condition plenty of wear on the on, on the tread left so the new owners should enjoy those uh, UK size 11 as you can see and these I put up for 17 pounds and they sold very very quickly so I may have undervalued those but still I only paid I think two pounds for these at the boot fair just going weekend now here's something that I always go on about it's CD players here's a oops sorry, uh, um, here's a Sony CD player DJ 360 sold this for 17 pounds could have got 20 25 for it want it for this horrible scuffing on top it's got really horrible marks on top I did try to wash those off but no matter what I tried I could not get rid of those so I thought you know bearing that in mind I'll have to sell it a bit cheap so you know that went for 17 pounds but I think I paid a pound for this um, CD players tend to go very cheaply people don't value them people don't think they're old tech because obviously it's all about phones and and mp3 players with touch screens so CD players are now archaic in a lot of people's eyes and they're not they don't seem to put them in the same vintage kind of box as they might do a cassette walkman um, so these are going normally at bootfest for a pound two pounds three pounds pick them up even if they charge you a fiver pick them up but most of the time it will be under that now here is another cd player i got rid of um, within the last week this was a um, sony d121 this is an older player which doesn't even have anti-shock on it and again i think i picked this up for about three pounds so this was a bit pricier than normal it's got a little scuff there but i mentioned that and um you know made in japan i always if, if a player is made in japan i tend to mention it um it still rings um you know quality to some people if they hear made in japan they will they will mention that so not all sony cd players are made in japan you must check the back um but the older ones do tend to be made in japan and they will i think sell a bit better for it so that went for 20 pounds moving on swiftly we're on to the vibram five fingers komodo sport crossfit trainer th trainers now these are very peculiar looking trainers they're like gloves for your feet as you can see there um quite easy sale i put it up um, again this came in a, in my lot of auction trainers they were just within there um 
put it up and it sold very quickly at £40. So again, I could probably got on a bit more. I sold them within a couple of hours of them being on sale. So I could probably, probably asked at 10 or more. Um, but again, in terms of quick turnaround, and I thought just because of the wear on them, they, they look good condition overall. But £40, I'm pretty happy with considering what I've paid for the auction lots. So pretty happy with that. And another bit of footwear and another pair of AstroTurf football boots this time it's adidas f5s uh uk size 8 good condition they did have unfortunately a bit of scuffing to the front there as you can see like where that where it actually torn off the material which was a bit of a shame but they still went for 15 pounds again very quickly and here's some mercurials now these things were filthy um when i got these uh some of the the items that you get at auction they literally like look like they've come like for example I had a bag of football boots it looks like it comes straight from the locker room and it was just mud everywhere it was rank so I did have to spend some time cleaning these up um, and they came out pretty well there was a little bit of creasing there on the Nike logo but overall they're in very good condition um, you know clean the bottoms up and everything UK size 11 so it's a, a rarer size and those went very quickly again this time for 20 pounds these are called hyper punch that color which is quite cool so um, it's always worth trying to research your trainers so you can give the accurate title because sometimes people may search for very peculiar um, you know names etc which Nike trainers and football boots are known by so that was really cool Here's um another sale I got which was the Brahms Symph Symphony number no. three four track. Now again this was actually a part of a job lot I've been selling over the past couple months. I picked up a bunch of these four track things for like I don't know, 12, 15 pounds, something like that, I can't remember. But I've been selling them on for a tenner each, a so good profit. I've already made, you know, enough profit off of the lot of these things. Um, I had I had a various amounts of music and I even had like a, um, what's it called, grease uh, for track thing as well and you know slowly but surely these are selling um, they do pick up sales not very quickly but you know the sales are there and I'm getting 10 pounds a pop for them which is fantastic considering like I said I paid like 12 15 pounds for a big stack of them so that's really good and finally this is another boot sales find picked up this micro machines van for about 250 or three pounds good condition um, it's got a bit of wear on it as you'd expect from the age I mean it's it's really old isn't it it's like um, 1991 there you go Galoob size 1991 um, it had a bit of scuffing a few of the stickers are torn and the vehicles included I don't think they were all actually micro machines I did mention that in the ad um, and this sold for, uh, like I said I paid 250 I think for this um, and that sold for 20 pounds so again really good profit so that's what I've been getting up to recently hoping to increase my um, sales hoping to increase my consistency that's the main thing and I know the only way I can do that is by being much more regimented much more disciplined um, I started that by um, actually cre creating a little bit of, of, of office space in the spare bedroom um, because I found that when I was actually using this computer I'm recording this and this is my gaming computer I just get distracted I you know I end up just surfing the net playing games and just messing around far more than I should and plus this is in the living room so I've got all the distractions of family life television the wife coming in the kids coming in and, and, and you just cannot get as much work done um, which is which is I think ha been holding me back a little bit and now I've created a little bit of space for myself where I, even during the day when there's no one at home I or even when people are at home I can just go up there sit down and I can find that I'm getting a lot more listings done so hopefully I will see an improvement um, but anyway guys if you've got any questions comments please leave them in the comments section below I'd love to hear them um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you dislike to give it a thumbs down thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time